Hello friends, welcome to Physics with Ben. In today's video, I just want to explain the principle of flotation using this uh, little setup here. The principle of flotation states that for a body to be able to float in fluid, e.g. water, the upthrust exerted on the object must be equal to the weight of the object. Upthrust will act in the upward direction while the weight will act downward. So uh, I'm going to ex uh, use this little setup here to explain the principle of flotation. These are slotted masses, and uh, the masses are 50 gram times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is 250 grams. So I'm going to hang, uh, and this content K here is uh, simply water yes so what this principle is trying to explain is that object is lighter in liquid than in air and this is not uh, a magic it is true you are going to see it right now so this is our scale but our, our, our spiral spring it is on zero newton zero grams so I'm going to slot this right here and you will see what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. Good. Now, let's read uh, this. What you see here is um, 250 gram and what you see here is a 2.5 Newton. So this 2.5 Newton is simply uh, our weight in air. Our weight in air is 2.5 Newton. Okay, let's see what this same guy will weigh when we insert it in this uh, water here. So I am going to Take it away and then place this here. Observe something. Good. What do you see? It is not partially immersed in this uh, cup of water, but it is totally immersed in this cup of water so let's see what our scale uh, our spiral spring is reading good what do you see the spiral spring is reading 200 and 200 210.5 grams and then it is reading what it is reading 2.2.1 Newton, yeah, 2.1 Newton. Let me take that close together. That is 2.1 Newton. Good. So, 2.1 Newton is what the spiral spring is reading. And this is our weight in the liquid. So, the up thrust here is weight in air minus weight in liquid. So you can see that the answer you get is the lost in weight. And that optros also means lost in weight. So the principle of flotation states once again that for a body to be able to float in, in fluid, that is liquid or air, the optros must be equal to the weight of the body. And this will lead us into what we call 
the Archimedes principle, which is what I'm going to explain in our next video. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.